Number 5. Tying Against Resistance You may encounter situations in which the tissue has resilience or elasticity and tends to want to fight back against your knots. For instance, you may cinch your first throw down on a structure only to find out that before you can place the second throw, the tissue has pushed the first throw open. There are two ways of dealing with this. The first is starting with a surgeon's knot, and the second is using a slip knot. To practice this, start by placing a rubber band around the posts. Pick a spot about one quarter the distance from one post. If you place a regular two-handed throw at this point, it is likely to come apart. If you're tying square knots, the best way to approach this is to start with a surgeon's knot. A surgeon's knot is one in which the free end is brought through the loop twice on the first throw. Do a standard throw by bringing the free end through the loop, but before you cinch down the throw, pass the suture through the loop again. Now you have a double throw that will better hold the strain because of more contact area between the strands. The rest of the throws to complete the knot are done normally. Let's look at this in some detail. Bring your strand around the rubber bands, cross them, and do your first loop. But before you bring it down, do another loop. Bring the knot down against the rubber band, and you can see that it holds firmly. An alternate approach is a slip knot. Put your strand around the rubber band, cross the ends, and use your thumb as a post on your first throw. On your second throw, use your thumb as a post again so that the throws go in the same direction. This allows you to cinch the knot a little tighter. Complete this with a square knot alternate throw.